Dan Tamarkin here from Tamarkin Camera in downtown Chicago. The white gloves are out, so it's auction time. I want to show you some of the exciting pieces that we're going to have in our November uh, 17th rare camera auction. Here in front of me are three wartime Leica cameras, and these were made during World War II. Uh, we have some interesting features to them. Um, the first one that I want to show you is kind of a run-of-the-mill camera. These other two are kind of special. So this is a Leica 3C. Um, it has kind of an interesting serial number, 371173. Kind of interesting. Leica 3Cs that were made during the war have a little step on, uh, uh, where the rewind lever and advance lever is set. And so you can tell just by looking at a 3C camera, if it has that little step, it's a wartime camera. This particular camera is outfitted with a red shutter curtain. Um, and the story goes that they simply ran out of black shutter curtains, so they started using red during the war. These cameras are hard to find that are still working with their shutters, red shutters intact. Um, so this camera will appear in our upcoming auction. And then during the last days of the Second World War, um, all of the 3C cameras were finished in gray lacquer. And this one is marked with a K, which means that it was um, cold weatherized and it has special kinds of ball bearings inside of it. Um, and these are very, very hard to find cameras. This one's working well. Um, it has a little K stamped on the shutter and that indicated that the camera was indeed made for cold weather um, with these special ball bearings. And so you'll notice it has the wartime step there. Uh, this one does not have a red curtain, but it does have the K marking, um, number 389424K. Very few of these cameras were made and very few survived the war. And so this is an original and authentic uh, 3CK camera. So the rarest of the three that we have here is a camera that was made uh, for the Luftwaffen, which is the German Air Force. And this case is imprinted Luftwaffen Eigentum, which means uh, Air Force property. Unfortunately, the case has become separated, um, but we still have the original camera here. And this camera uh, was made for the uh, German Air Force, and it has special markings on it that indicate that it was indeed made for the Luftwaffe, um, and you can see on the back of this camera, it says Luftwaffe and Eigentum stamped into the Vulcanite covering, and it has uh, what's called an FL number, and this was a um, German contract number. And so uh, we have here a few kind of special wartime Leicas. The 3C with the red curtain, Luftwaffe and Eigentum, Air Force property, and the 3CK camera in a stunning gray lacquer. Um, uh, and when you see it in person, you can tell uh, the difference between the gray and the black. I I'm sure that here in the video it might be a little murky, but it is indeed gray, and it's a very handsome paint finish. I want to show you another very sp special camera that we came across. This is something that you don't see every day. Um, this is a, a Leica 3 with chrome fittings, camera's working very well. Um, this was made before the war. This camera was not made during wartime, but it appears to have belonged to an SS officer or somebody involved in the German SS because it carries here um, uh, an emblem of the SS. Um, so this is also, while it wasn't made during the war, it has wartime significance. And you'll find each of these cameras in our upcoming auction, along with lots more pictures and uh, a more vibrant description than I've given them here. Um, and you can read all about them and feel free to ask us questions and feel free to learn more about the history of Leica um, and certainly the stuff that happened during the war and also before and after the war. And you can see all of this stuff on our auction website, which will be launching soon in preparation for the November auction. Thanks very much for watching.